Hello, this is Oncology for Medical Students, and this video is on staging cancers. So what I'd like to cover in this video is firstly, what is staging? Why staging is important to the treatment and research of cancer? Staging systems, including the TNM and the 1 to 4 system, and a few examples along the way. So why is staging so important? Knowing how far a cancer is spread tells us about how, what treatment might be useful. In general, if a cancer hasn't spread outside its organ of origin, it may be suitable to cut out with surgery or might be suitable to use some radiotherapy. If it's spread, it's far more likely that it will require systemic treatments like chemotherapy, biological therapies and hormones. By being able to describe tumours in a standardised system, doctors are able to communicate about the extent of cancers more accurately, but also group similar people together when conducting research to compare how effective certain treatments are. It also allows for standardised guidelines to, to be developed, which can suggest the most appropriate treatment for patients with a particular stage of cancer, according to the most up-to-date research. So the most commonly used system is the TNM system. The TNM system was developed in the 1940s and 50s and is maintained by the Union of International Cancer Control, or the UICC. TNM stands for tumour node metastasis, and it's basically a way of describing how far a tumour has spread. So the T stands for tumour, which is the extent of the primary, so the original tumour. Node refers to how many lymph nodes the tumour has spread to, or the cancer has spread to. And metastasis refers to whether there are secondary tumours in any other part of the body. So firstly, I'll start off with the T in the TNM stage, which stands for tumour. And I'll use the example of bowel cancer. Here we can see some of the abdominal organs with the liver and stomach at the top the small bowel in the middle, and around it, in green, the large bowel, which is also known as the colon. Unfortunately, in this colon, there's a tumour present. If we have a closer look at the colon, or the bowel, and look at a cross-section, we can get an idea about how bowel cancers are staged. So here we can see a cross-section of the bowel. So the bowel is made up of a number of layers. From the innermost layer of the, the tube, which is the bowel, are the mucosa, submucosa, the muscle layer, subserosa, and serosa. The tumour, or T-section of bowel cancer stages, are determined by the extent to which the tumour is invading the tissue of the bowel. If the tumour invades only the mucosa and submucosa, as we can see here, we label it T1. If it enters the muscle layer, but doesn't go all the way through, we label it T2. If it enters the subserosa or serosa through the muscle layer, it's a T3 tumour. And if it invades to the extent to which it's actually outside the colon, it's labelled a T4 tumour. Next is the node stage. If a cancer is not spread to any of the local lymph nodes, it's labelled N0. If it spreads to one to three local nodes, it's called an N1 tumour. If it spreads to four or more, we label it N2.
Finally, the M, which stands for metastases. Quite simply, if there are no distant metastases, we label the cancer an M0. If there are distant metastases, as we can see up here in the liver, it is an M1. The TNM system is very useful, and it's the most commonly used system. However, there are a number of limitations. It constantly has to be upgraded as developments in treatment and research create more and more distinctions within subtypes of the same cancer. It's also not particularly useful for cancers where there's no primary solid tumour, or it's pretty much absolutely useless. So for cancers like leukaemias, for example, we can't use the TNM system. I've just put these up to give you an example or to, to show you how complicated the TNM system can get. Although it's worth bearing in mind the core principles of the T tumour, N nodes and M metastases holds true. This is an example of uh, lung cancer staging and as you can see it's actually been broken down into subsections. So in tumour we've got T1, T1A or T1B depending on different, a variety of different factors. In order to simplify this TNM system, a, a number system based on the TNM score is given to express the stage. The number system uses the TNM system to come to one of these numbers. So a one, a stage one cancer, would be one that's contained within the organ with no nodal metastases and no tumor metastases. A stage 2 would be still within the organ, but larger, with or without lymph nodes. A stage 3 cancer would be uh, one that's spread to surrounding tissues and lymph nodes, but hasn't metastasized. And a stage 4 cancer is any cancer that has metastasized. So in summary, staging is important for communication, treatment and research in cancer. And the TNM system, which we've described in this video, is the most widely used. There are a variety of other systems, and often the, there are systems that are specific to specific types of cancers, which we will come on to in further videos. Um, but for now, it's worth just getting to grips with the idea of the TNM system, as it's very, very commonly used. Thanks for listening. If you found this video useful, please um, hit the subscribe button and check out all of the other videos on the channel. Thank you very much.